All right, my name is Cole Hastings. Um, today we're gonna be talking about routers and what they do and some applications of them. So first and foremost, a router is a device most commonly known for sending IP packets uh, between computers at home and the internet. And a lot of people have trouble distinguishing between their router and modem. So both boxes on top of their PC. Um, the, a good way to tell the difference is if there is an antenna on one of the boxes, then usually that's going to be your router. And there's a lot, they both do different things and they both rely on each other in order to work. So a modem is strictly used to connect to your internet service provider, also called your ISP. And there are two types of modems called cable and DSL. So a cable modem does exactly what its name implies, um, connects to your ISP through a coaxial cable. And then the DSL modem will usually connect to your phone line. Um, so that is how you distinguish between the two. And that's also what the modem does. So your modem and router actually need each other in order to connect to the internet. So a router is actually unable to send data packets between computers without the help of your modem being connected to your internet service provider. Um, but you'll also see modem router combos. That's just one box that some people have that's more economical. So how does a router work? Um, a router is connected to two or more data lines from different networks. And when a data packet is transported through one of the lines, it reads where to bring the data in order to finalize the destination. And I'll explain later how it sorts data and which one to send first. So there are different types of routers that transport different types of data. And the one people are most familiar with are the ones in homes or offices where I previously stated send IP packets between your home or office and the internet. Now, more sophisticated routers like ones in businesses or big enterprises connect large business or ISP networks up to the powerful core routers that forward data at high speed, usually through optic fiber cable, which we've uh, talked about in some lecture videos before. And optic fiber is able to transport data at incredibly fast speeds through the internet backbone. So what are some applications of routers? Um, a good example is when multiple routers are used in interconnected networks. The routers exchange information about destination addresses using a dynamic routing protocol. And each router builds up a routing table listing the preferred routes between any two systems. So this is how they actually sort which data to send and when to send it. A router has interfaces for different physical types of network connections. Uh, such as copper cables, or like we talked about earlier, optic fiber, or wireless transmission is also sometimes used. And routers also may be used to connect two or more logical groups of computer devices, and these are known as subnets, and they each have a different network prefix. And these prefixes are recorded in the routing table, but they do not necessarily map directly to the physical interface connections. So a router actually has two stages of operations and these are called planes. There's a control plane and there's a forward plane. So the control plane um, maintains a routing table and this lists which route should be used to forward a data packet and through which physical interface connection. And it does this using something called internal pre-configured directives or static routes as they're more commonly called and these are used with the dynamic routing protocol and static and dynamic routes are stored in the 
routing information base or the RIB. Now the control plane logic then strips the non-essential directives from the RIB and builds a forwarding information base. This is going to be used in the next operation. So now onto the forwarding plane. Um, so after the control plane process is done, the router forwards the data packets between incoming and ongoing interface connections and routes them to a correct network using info that the packet header actually contains um, and then uses data recorded in the routing table control plane. Now, this was just a quick definition of what a router is, how to distinguish it between a modem and its operations and applications.